Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the new Spark email app. We've covered Spark before, most recently in episode 1137 last March when we looked at the Mac version, but it's undergone a complete reimagining recently and now sports a brand new user interface with a very opinionated approach to how you should handle your email. In addition, Spark has also added several new AI features to help summarize long emails and craft better responses. It's available directly from the Readle website, the Mac App Store, or via Setapp. The basic app is free, but the AI features do require a premium individual subscription, which is $59.99 US dollars per year, or $7.99 US dollars per month. As with all Setapp applications though, the Spark version available via Setapp is the full version, which gives you access to all the AI tools and additional features included with the individual premium subscription. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Spark, and the first thing that you'll see when you open the app is this login screen where you need to add the email that you are going to use with your Spark account. Now you can enter your email here, or you can click the continue with Google button. I'm gonna type my demo account email here. And because it recognizes that this is in fact a Google account, it's going to ask me to proceed in my web browser. So let's switch to Safari here, finish logging in by confirming the Google email address and then putting in the password for our account. Because this is a Google account, I have a verification code, which I will have to enter. And then click the next button. Okay, and then we get the permission screen where we have to confirm that this will allow Spark to access and read my email from my account. So once we click the allow button, then we open up Spark again. It verifies our account, which will take just a moment. And then once it's finished, it takes us to the new home screen. Now this home screen is designed in order to help facilitate positive productivity habits. It gives us the time, the date, there's a couple of interface buttons over here on the right, a welcome message. And because this is the first time that we've checked our email today, it says it's time to check our inbox. But once we check our email, it will have a different message here which will encourage us to take a break from our email, which is kind of refreshing. Basically the whole idea behind the new Spark interface is to help you deal with email as efficiently as possible so you can get back to the things that really matter. That means they make some very opinionated choices about design and user interface, and that will likely either resonate with you or alienate you. Let's real briefly walk through the different elements here of this new home screen. So in the upper right, we have a button here to compose a new message. And this is kind of brilliant in its design because it allows you to compose a message without actually showing you your inbox. If you have ever gone into your email app in order to send a message and then got distracted by the messages that were in your inbox and ended up doing something with those instead, this can help protect your focus for the thing that you intend to be doing. The next button is the smart search button. There's also a keyboard shortcut associated with this of command F, which allows us to search through everything in Spark and find a sender or even text inside of a specific email message. I'm going to skip that for now though. This drop down right here gives us options for how we want to configure the email previews available to us on this home screen. Now, right now we don't have any email previews enabled but we can select from all emails, emails from certain people, priority emails, or no emails. So right now we have no emails, and that just means that no emails are going to show up on this screen. But let's change this to priority emails. We're gonna set some priority senders here in a little bit. What that will do is it will actually show us the emails from those people who we've marked as priority senders, but it will cut out everything else that probably isn't important. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.